I've never been the type of YouTuber to make videos that are completely negative or just hating on something. In fact, this is the first video where I'll be doing that. But I'm doing it today because recently a new indie horror game came out. And as usual, all the YouTubers who cover this content have... Well, yeah, they've kind of covered it already. I'm talking about Garten of Banban. This game, well, to be honest, I've got a lot to say about it. So first off, it's bad. But I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean, it's bad. Yeah, it's still getting all these playthrough videos, jump scare montages, boss compilations, and... Wait, boss compilations? Dude, this game has one enemy, and when you beat it, the game ends. Eh? Okay, let me show you what this game is about, so I can actually tell you why I dislike it so much. Basically, you're in some nursery, and... In fact, let me read what the official description for this game is. Ban Ban's kindergarten was once the go-to kindergarten for any parent who needed their children to attend a reputable learning facility. This was the case until everybody within the place suddenly vanished on a seemingly normal day. Hmm, never heard that before. So yeah, a lot of connections have been made between this game and Poppy Playtime. Now, don't get me wrong, I like Poppy Playtime. I absolutely hate the developers for a multitude of reasons, but I'm not gonna get into that. No, but seriously for a sec, how do you take a phenomenally made character like Circus Baby and turn her into some seductive Minecraft character for a music video that, for some reason, gets so many views? God, I hate these content farmers and the way that they depict some of my favourite FNAF characters. The reason I say this is because the game that, to a lot of people, is a rip-off of other games has now got its own rip-off. Garten of Bamban Ban takes like no more than 10 minutes to finish and that's without speedrunning or even trying to go fast. When you start the game you're greeted with this wall of art of the mascots which, can I just say, are some of the most boring and bland character designs I think I've ever seen for a video game. Like I get they're meant to be simplistic because it's a nursery or whatever but come on, was there even like an ounce of thought put into these things? They just look weird and not intimidating at all. Especially the main character. He just looks like the devs took two seconds to design him and left him as a literal green blob with a face. Then there's this bird who I'll cut a little bit of slack. It can be kind of off-putting, I guess. I mean, it basically has the same death as Huggy Wuggy, but at least that was after a really intense chase scene. Oh, Jesus! Oh, okay. Mad. Rubble, bye, Huggy. He's dead. It just kind of runs after you a little, then falls into a dark pit. Again, could they be any more obvious? Then it's done. You're finished. Oh, but what's this? They're making a sequel? What? How? If you're going to rip off Poppy Playtime this much, then at least release content in chapters instead of a whole new sequel after the first game being a 10 minute walking simulator. But unlike other indie horror games, this doesn't even really try to be scary despite it being labelled as it. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Unless this was supposed to be scary. I never usually get passionate about stuff like this, but this game just feels like one of those awfully made Roblox horror games. And that's something I'm not about to talk about. The fact that so many YouTubers are jumping on this like it's a brand new hit horror game just annoys me. This is a new low for the genre as a whole, and makes me look back on older small horror games that were actually good like Telltale and Baldi's Basics. Yeah, I kinda do like Baldi's Basics, shut up. Thing is, if this game released and was just a small test game for the developers that gained a little bit of traction, then it'd be fine because at least they're not trying to turn this into the next big thing. But nope, there's already a sequel being worked on that's gonna introduce a couple more of the mascots. What, then you're just going to end it and start working on Garten of Ban Ban 3? I just feel like it's become too easy to make an indie horror game and for it to gain popularity just because a load of YouTubers play it. I mean, how low has the bar gone for this to be rated very positive on Steam? I don't know, dude. I just feel like these new game studios are looking at what past games have done and just trying to replicate it so they can turn out as these soulless games that have no points of interest. And they just shove lore into the game, but it's never original or actually intriguing. Oh, but wait, did you hear that one tape where the law reveals that Bam Bam is actually- 